All right, so now that we know that the, well, computer functions, uh, next thing is to get input running to it. So the keyboard, as you see, has definitely seen some better days. Um, this, yeah, it is, this is a mess. Uh, you got bits missing here. This whole thing is just, just broken. So now the front side is, is okay. Um, it can get cleaned up a little bit. So that's sort of where I'm going to start. Well, actually, what I'm going to start with is making sure the thing actually works. Now, there is a weird thing about the SX64. There's kind of a weird thing about it. Now, it is on the bottom is you have this 20, 25 pin D sub connector. And that connects to the back of the keyboard. Now, the problem is it's just a weird shape. Like, it go like a normal D sub connector doesn't fit in here. So um, I'm gonna have to kind of improvise at least for now until I can get something that will fit more properly. So uh, just to try it out, I have this uh, DB25 uh, cable that I picked up at a thrift shop. And of course it doesn't fit. And that's the problem with this thing is that these normal big, huge connectors just don't fit. So I'm gonna have to shave this down a little bit and see if I can get it a little, a little more uh, where it'll fit in there. And of course, this is probably gonna fall apart when I do it, but you know, see what happens. Okay, we got some numbers. One, two, three. The cursors aren't working. The turn isn't working. I think clear works. Clear works. So it's intermittent, which to me says that the contacts are probably dirty, so I'll probably clean those up. Okay, now that I've got that set up, I basically need to clean and rebuild this keyboard. This, um, this top panel, actually, it, it's supposed to just clip in, but it has broken in all the right places so it just pops right off i'm missing the commodore key here so let's get that going Now it's down to the uh, board here. Now this is an old style uh, membrane keyboard. This black part here on top is actually um, the membrane. And then underneath should be the circuit board. There you go. Very carefully tie it up. Okay, so I've got everything kind of cleaned up and now I just need to resurface this, uh, this membrane, this carbon membrane. Some of the little pads, the little membrane pads are just kind of worn down. So I'm going to replace those with some graphite. Uh, this is just spray graphite. Uh, make a little pile of it and you can dip it and, uh, and just boop, 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 right on there and that should do the trick.
is not bad. That is not bad at all. So what I am going to do now is I want to rebuild, at least just rebuild these corners and make them solid. I will try to fill them in as best as possible with automotive body filler, which is, you know, kind of a trick of the trade uh, when you're filling in um, things that, you know, with plastics and things like that, it, it works really well. So what I need to do is I need to rebuild these corners and I'm going to use some modeling putty clay, then have a substrate for the automotive filler to, uh, to adhere to. And then I can just pull off the excess uh, when it's done. Smells like cancer. And I'll just clean it off, sand it out later. Using Bondo to repair computers. So that is not bad, if I do say so myself. I mean, considering I had to completely rebuild this corner from, well, nothing. Um, that's not terrible. So now we've got a keyboard that works and looks pretty decent. There's one other uh, mechanical thing that I've got to uh, check out and make sure that that works. But uh, this is this is looking good so far. So far, so good. 